you testing, testing, mic check. One, two, three. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Can you hear me? 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 Yo, yo, yo. What's up, GTR fam? I'm out here today doing the same thing that I always do. I'm going to try and give y'all some tips and tricks to help y'all uh, with y'all's breathing career or uh, your transition as a puppy owner. Forgive me if my words come out like Magic Johnson, but I struggle and I do my best. So, all right, with that being said, so today what we're going to be talking about is possibly two things. I don't know. I'm really kind of doing this just off the hip. Uh, what's that? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to kind of do this off the, off the rip. So, um, first thing, forgive me if y'all hear that fan in the back, but it's hot out here. It's humid if y'all go sit and sweat and stuff, perspirate. And I don't want my dogs getting hot. Anyways, just gonna clean it up. And today we're gonna talk transportation of your port. First off, I always start off, everybody always start this. I get a lot of questions. Well, we do get a lot of questions in regards to, especially from my potential owners, all my owners, is what to transport the puppy in. So let's, we'll try and cover as much as we can within the five minute time frame. Y'all know I don't like to do them long videos, right? All right, All right so first off, uh, when you get your puppy, uh, let's, go, let's start that way. When you get your puppy, you gotta figure out how you're gonna pick it up. So ZTR does it, I think, four ways. I'm gonna try and cover them all real quick. The first way, and I'm gonna tell y'all which one is the best out of all of them. All right, here comes Jay. He ain't got his ZTR shirt on, he can't be in the video. Where your ZTR shirt at? Don't even come over here. Go! I'm gonna take your PlayStation from you. That's what I thought. Y'all use that. I teach y'all about that. Man, I'm a real man. I don't care about no PlayStation. Y'all go outside. I'll touch you guys. I'm gonna cut that out. Then I'm gonna get them. All right, all right. So, uh, so let's start with the uh, transportation. So they put a, uh, a dedicated transporter and I have a, a recommended one that I use. If you want her information, I send it to you. Those prices, typically range from uh, three to eight hundred dollars take this hat off because it is hot out here if you want our information i provide that in the beginning when you uh put your deposit down essentially how that works is that you the customer um i'll connect you with her you call her y'all set up the fees and the rates she usually uses the same rates i think it's about 85 or 90 cents a mile and she charges you as such i think it's a handling fee which is like 50 dollars but after other than that uh She'll pick your puppy up for me. I get the, uh, I have to get do what is called a, uh, a bill of health, so to speak. So I take it to the vet like two to three days before she comes. And that guarantees that when she gets the puppy, the puppy is in good health. That way her insurance knows that she's carrying dogs that are in good health and that she's not responsible for the dogs if they get sick. And if it was a potential owner that gave her a sick dog, they would have to cover it. So with that being said, she gets a bill of health for me. She takes the puppy takes it to you, you pay her, and she offers a payment plan. So, um, not a lot of them do that. And y'all know I'm all about payment plans over here. All right, so first was the ground transportation with the dedicated carrier. I just explained that. The second way is to put your puppy on a plane, okay? Uh, you can put your puppy on a plane two ways. You can put it under the plane where all the luggage and stuff goes, which we call cargo. Or you can put it on top of the plane which would be considered a nanny service. Now, both of those ways uh, will probably be my third and fourth best way. The reason why is because when we get to this here, this is the case that you essentially put that puppy in up under the plane, right? And, and, i.e. cargo. When it's, uh, it, lots of different things can happen. One, parts of the year, the airlines don't let you put a dog in certain parts of the country. They don't let you put a dog up on the plane because it's too hot, they can't control it. Uh, they don't want your puppy to die, which is, I'm glad that they do that. Two, it's been times when I put a dog on the plane, up under the plane as cargo, and it comes down the conveyor belt. It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to go to the back of the airport where you can drive around and you can pick up uh, lost luggage and cargo and all that good stuff. Um, but I had one go all the way down the conveyor belt. Big shout out to Big Mook. Mook was, uh, he was, he was worried, man. He's running all around the airport, couldn't find a dog because it wasn't in the place it was supposed to be. To let it, uh, come to find out his wife was walking through the terminal where, uh, where you pick up your stuff and you come to puppy down the conveyor belt. So that was kind of a nightmare. They all worked out for them to the dog. Uh, and we plan on getting another one from us. Um, so that's the second, first way. The second way, it's, oh yeah, let me cover the pricing. So the pricing on that way, 
including this, you have to pay for that. The GPR doesn't provide that. I'll tell you which ones you need or whatever. But you'll get this from here. Uh, and it's not just anyone. You have to call the airlines to get specifically what they like. So this is usually about thirty to sixty dollars. I think. Usually range about the price of the plane tickets. So usually about three to six hundred dollars is what I've done with. And that was kind of a year ago. So you know the prices have changed. Everything is going up. Fuel is going up for the airline. Airlines got to adjust and such. Um, but that's usually about three to six hundred. Next would be uh, the nanny service. Now we do provide a nanny service. Um, and the way a nanny service works is essentially, you pay me, I take the puppy, get on the plane, I fly to the destination, to where you are, to a, a major airport, not one of the smaller airports, to so a major airport, something like DFW, Kennedy, LAX, and you pick it up from there. Uh, that way is the most expensive, but it's the quickest way to get the dog. You will, you pretty much, the dog will be um, ready to go home on day, on week eight, you can have it the next day or the same day, okay? If you like in California, Boston, or whatever, you don't feel like doing a drive. So that's the quickest way to do it. That way it's the most expensive, simply because you gotta pay me for my time, you gotta pay for the plane ticket, and um, again, you gotta get a, depending on the uh, depending on the airlines, you gotta get a health, a bill of health, which is only $50, it's not a lot. Uh, and then the last way, which is my favorite way, oh, let me go back, back to the Air Nanny Service. The Air Nanny Service is the reason why I got this bag up here. It's my son's football bag. See, it's got his name on it, little Trey Trey. But essentially, is you put them in a bag like this. Now, the catch to it is the bag is smaller, and the bag itself and the dog can't weigh more than 20 pounds. And at about eight weeks, these puppies, depending on which litter it is, is usually about 18 to 20 pounds. So you have a real slim amount of time to make your mind up about what to do it this way. And basically, I get on a plane with this on top of the plane, or one of my carriers get on top of the plane and then when I say on top of the plane I mean in the cabin we'll put this uh put the puppy in here and we'll transit transition it to you uh throughout the airport and bring it to you to one of those major airports uh and then the last way which is my favorite way which I think is the best and the most efficient way is for you to get on the plane yourself buy you a ticket fly to me come pick your dog up get your hotel room and fly back so essentially the only thing that you're really paying for is maybe a hotel room I have I, I have, have, well that's a hard one, people come and pick up a dog the same day and fly back the same day, all right? Uh, that could be as quick as the air nanny service or quicker. Um, so essentially all you plan is paying is for the plane ticket. The airlines don't require as much as because you're carrying it like luck. It's like a carry-on bag when you do it that way, okay? So uh, uh, that is the quickest way and my favorite way. So I'm gonna name them again in the order that I like, in the order uh, which is the order that I like and the order that I recommend. So first off is you fly in and you pick it up yourself, carry it back with you on board the airplane. Second would be probably the carry. Yeah, we'll go with the carry. And then third would be uh, Air Nanny, simply because it costs more, but it is the quickest and the most efficient not most efficient but it's the quickest and then fourth would be the ground not the ground carrier but the cargo up under the plane and simply because i told you about the examples that i experienced so um i hope that gave y'all some some input on how we ship dogs and how you can get dogs shipped to you um one way i didn't mention is of course you can always drive down here now we don't always let people come out to the compound simply because it kind of can pose a, a hazard to the puppies and the, the younger pups around here because uh, cargo is a real thing and luckily we hadn't had it and it's, I think it's a lot it has to do with people coming out here. Uh, we'll cover that another day. But uh, so sometimes we do bring people out. Y'all seen it in the videos. So um, with that being said, if y'all got any questions, drop them down in the uh, in the comment section y'all see i answer the questions please like and share my videos we're trying to give y'all good content good helpful content we're not just sitting here you looking at me 24 7 while i'm talking about myself and that's it so uh <laughs> like and subscribe follow us on facebook TikTok, and instagram we got a lot of content on there like i said we're trying to catch up on this youtube thing we appreciate y'all we appreciate y'all we appreciate y'all and we try to give y'all the best customer service and, the, and try to keep it as real as possible with y'all because I know how it was once being in your shoes. 
uh, trying to give people a chance to get a dog that normally couldn't afford a dog. So ZTR, ZTR is here for the people. And until next time, holla.